hey guys I'm gonna pick it up right here so this is basically the stock right after we actually blew a stock on a herd of blue and black wildebeest that were pretty much hanging together they blew out of there and then Ephraim who was scouting ahead for kudu um, said hey well if you guys are looking for blue wildebeest I found a herd basically tucked away up here on top and so we worked our way to them and uh, it was quite a stock we, it was fast furious we went made it to the top of the hill and then skirted the, the, the ridge lines and went through these boulders and huge rocks and basically just snuck as close as we could get and uh, in the video you can see me following Yaku and then uh, Ephraim's in front of him and basically we're just picking our way through making sure that we're not bumping any zebras and I say that because the whole hunt we had been making all these great stocks and then zebras would blow the stocks every time well luckily no zebras and uh, finally you can see here uh, we're getting into this little valley where it's kind of like this um, grassy bed area on top of this little mountain and uh, they were right where we uh, Ephraim left them and then uh, basically I'll just let the video pick up from here but thanks for watching guys enjoy Go down. Gosh, he's right through. Go down. Yeah. Look at these right here. Just a good shot. Just behind the shoulder, but that's fine. Yeah. yeah. That's just a little bit far. Go down. Come on. Yes. Hell, yes. Yes. <laughs> oh, you guys do hugs here? Give me here. Good job. I did follow. Good job. Is he still going? He's down, he's down. He's down? He's down. Oh, there he is. Oh my god. We got him. <laughs> I hit him where he would in, in America, which is too far back. But he still went down. Good job. <laughs> Good job. Yeah. Sorry I pushed you, but it was No, so no. You can move all the time. That's very good. And I know there was our only chance. Hey. That was what I came here for, right there. <laughs> Spot and stock. So I heard him say that was the uh, first wildebeest in the mountains that they killed. Uh, Spot and stock with a bow. So. Here we go. Now it's time to get Kim a buck, me a kudu. Maybe a spring buck, too. So, very cool. Right there. What's our elevation here? Um, 5,500. 5500 Oh my gosh guys Oh my gosh Oh. 
Will you, uh, will you film for me? It's already filming. Yeah. Thank you. I'll just talk to the camera. Okay. Ah. Wow. Wow, he's bigger than, he's bigger than what you'd think. He's... <laughs> oh. <laughs> so that's, it's a long shot. we're lucky he was downhill, because that would be high if he was flat, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yes, yes. A little bit lower was better, but. But, but definitely down. high. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, maybe I should have left it at 37. I, I dialed it for a couple extra yards at that last second. But that's fine. But I hey, we way. have him, we yeah. got him. <laughs> Thank you. So, Ephraim, Harry, thank you very much. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> thank you. So, you guys are amazing. So, thanks for tuning in to my Blue Wildebeest hunt. It was a hunt of a lifetime. I'm already planning a trip back. I tell you, I got some unfinished business with some kudu and a black wildebeest. So, thanks for watching. As always, if you want to see more, subscribe, and I will see you on the next one, guys. Bye.